Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's an envelope punch board project and it's a double box. It is a double box because it's a box inside a box. It opens like that, little magnetic closure, opens up like that and it's a gorgeous box. But when you close it, you get this optical illusion and it is so sweet and I love it. And it's really, really cool, quite easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make it. You need a piece of paper that's six by six, and this is the serene scenery paper. Let me grab it so you can have a look. Let me get the right one. Here it is. So this is one of those paper packs. I've destroyed mine, and it's photographs, printed photographs on one side. Let me lose that one. And then it's got um, an ordinary image on the other side. So you've got the photographs. So it's the sea scenery, leaves. Uh, oh, I don't even know what you call that fabric, like beach deck chair fabric and then it's got something on the opposite side so it's photograph one side and then beautiful paper on the other side and I love it so this first one I can't remember what's on the other side of that probably easier to open it isn't it to show you I don't remember I think it was sort of like a sea scenery but love it, love it love it so you need a piece of paper six by six inches 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter and you need your envelope punch board let's pop it off to one side so you score it, you punch and score it two inches, five centimetres, whoops, punch and score, slide it up to four, punch and score, and then move it up to five, punch and score. So that is five, ten and twelve and a half centimetres. And then you come around and you just use your the scored lines, the lines you scored before, to punch and score again. So you just keep going all the way round. Keep moving it, keep sliding it. So you're putting three punch and scores on each side. And once you've got the first side on, it's easy to do the following size. That's my phone. It'll go off in a second. No idea who it is. Don't recognise the number. <laughs> I don't have a mute button on my camera or anything like that. There we go, it's gone off now. And then come around the corners, punch in the top. So this has got a sort of like a faded, faded fence side, one side, like a seascape, and then it's got these sort of swirl bubbles on the other side. Right, let's move all of those out of the way. Fold and burnish your score lines. I do this all the way along. I love making envelope punchable projects, and I think there's so much more than obviously just an envelope, and so much more than just a box with two score lines. Obviously, you saw my beautiful gemstone that I did the other week. I've done loads and loads of envelope punch board projects. Okay, when you come to this little one, bend it back the other way, because that's going to make that top part there. Oh look, I forgot to punch and score that bit. <gasps> Outrageous. There we go, so everything's folded, burnished and what have you. This part's going to fold up and this one is going to go in. So if I just open this up a little bit, you can see there are bits I've cut away. And actually, on these smaller sides here, if I turn it over, you can see it. We've got a little square that we've created there. And you're going to cut those away on both sides. We'll do that bit first. So you do that on both sides so you get rid of all of, all of those little tiny squares. Nick that properly. So there we go. So that that's the bit that's going to come up. Now we've got these score lines here, but they're actually they're not really for burnishing particularly. Um, they're not for folding on only in that part. So we're going to use these to cut this bit. So if I open this up you can see that that bit 
is, let me just fold this round, is this triangle here, which is going to form round. This triangle here. So, not next to your little skinny bit, the one that's over. Oops, I wibbled that one. Let me just trim that down. And the same opposite it. And that is going to fold round on the outside. So that when this bit comes in, that, oh, I forgot to put a bit in. Oh, and one inch. <laughs> Knew there was a score line that I forgot. On this one, we're meant to punch at one inch. <sighs> Come in and do it afterwards, it's okay. That's going to come in like that. I knew there was a bit I've forgotten. One inch, two and a half centimetres. So you chopped that into the big triangle. So this is all going to fold round together like that. And then this is going to pinch together over like that. Dead easy. Okay, so you want a couple of mini glue dots in each of those corners. So there's my mini glue dots. There's my paper piece. I love mini glue dots for this. So you're going for this corner up here. So it's the corner part of your triangle that is next to your rectangle. Same down there. So we're putting this on the inside of the box. So when you fold it round on the outside, the same over there. So this is like a variation of my bag in a box, which I designed a couple of years back. And, but it's got a slightly different optical illusion. There and there. So you fold those bits over and that bit will pinch together and it will hold it shut. So what you need is a couple of magnets. So these are neodymium magnets. I use a lady called Donna who sells under spider magnets. She is based in the UK. However, she ships all over the place, um, all over the world, super fast. Um, a little bit of pool party. Have I got a scrap? Oh, I have. Here we go. So, small punch, because the magnets are super strong. So, small half inch circle. Take your first magnet, glue dot onto that, and position it where you want it to go. Press firmly, glue dot, circle cover up your magnet, push firmly, get your other one because obviously there's positives and negatives, I'll pick it up, and then that will, so if you put it onto the one you've stuck down, obviously then you'll know that it's positioned correctly. Glue dot onto that, and then line up your two tabs. And squash and when you gently release it it will leave behind the magnet so just firmly press it final little dot little circle over the top and this is just taking some of the strength out because they are so strong and that will snap together shut with no problem as is this one close those down and then we just need to do a little bit of punch work now, a little stamping. So I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And I've got this stamp set. This is Thoughtful Banners, which I love. And it's got all these great sentiments and phrases and words. So I've gone for Inspiring, which is this one here. And these are photopolymer, polymer, so I'm not going to bend these, but photopolymer stamps you can bend, so you can bend them to shape. Um, because there is a punch that goes with them that is curved. I, I'm going with the... Um, classic label but I'm going to um, because I like it and I like the shape of it I didn't want to bend on this one and that was my pool party ink so I'm going to punch that out off, slightly off centre towards the right hand side I did have my little petite petal punch and 
Probably my pool party sponge, and I forgot to get it out. Where is it? That soft sky. There it is. Ooh. Yeah, that's my pool party one. So just gently sponge around the edges. I'm not a big fan of daubers. They don't. I don't like them on my fingers. So I much prefer a sponge. And then all around those petals. Back of my paper piercer into the middle. And I've got a pool party um, enamel shape into the middle. And on these, I like to use the long, these are the strips that you use for um, making shaker cards. But they're thin enough that they go beautifully behind our classic label punch. So onto there. Oops, let's get that centred. Onto there, another glue dot. And that is my little box in a box. Easy peasy. What do you think? Hope you like it. I like it. I love an envelope punch bowl project. They make me happy. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.